All right, so let's explore how to turn on server-side encryption, which is very easy on S3. So we're gonna go back to our bucket, go to our properties, and then click on default encryption. And by default, you're gonna see we don't have any encryption turned on, but we can turn on server-side encryption using AES-256, uh, which is uses a um, 256 uh, uh, algorithm in length or uh, uh, key in length. Uh, I'm always bad on that description there, but the point is it's 256 something in length uh, for encryption. And then we have a a AWS KMS, uh, but we're going to turn on AES 256 because that's the easiest way to get started here. But look at the warning up here. It says the property, uh, this property does not affect existing objects in your bucket. Okay. And so we're going to turn on our encryption. So we got our nice purple check mark and we're going to go back to our bucket to see if any of our files are encrypted, which I don't think they're going to be based on that message there. So we're going to go and check out data and we can see that there is no server side encryption, okay? So um, in order to turn it on for existing files, I would imagine it's gonna be the same process here. We'll go to properties, uh, we're gonna have encryption here, and we're gonna turn on AES-256. So you can see that you can set individual uh, encryption per files, and you can also do it per bucket. Um, and so we're gonna go ahead there and encrypt uh, um, data there. All right. So now if we were to go access this URL, uh, do we have permissions, even though it is set to public? So remember data is public, right? But can we see it when encryption is turned on? And uh, apparently we totally, totally can. So encryption doesn't necessarily mean that the files um, aren't accessible, right? It just, uh, because we have made this file public, it just means that when they're at rest on the servers on AWS, they are going to be encrypted. Okay. Um, so, you know, that is how easy it is to turn on encryption. Now, when it comes to accessing files via the CLI and KMS, there is a little bit more work involved there. Um, so, you know, for that, there's, it's going to be a bit more of a story there. But, um, you know, if we do get the CLI, we'll talk about it then, okay?